You see lots of Minecraft Let's Players and Minecraft Data Pack creators on YouTube, but I can't think of a single creator that combines the two until today. We're going to start a new experimental series called Beta Pack. I'm going to load into a survival world, but I get the ability to code whatever I want into the game. Epic swords, robot arms, demon cows, custom doors, war mounts. The world is my oyster. I am nothing less than a god in this blocky realm. But this is going to take some restraint. I can't slash kill the ender dragon. I can't slash give whimsy every single achievement in the game. No, not allowed. Well gamers, we find ourselves in a world of new possibilities, the only limit being our imagination. Okay, let's get our first block. Oh, just kidding, you thought it was gonna be wood? On this channel, we are quirky. Dare I say, we're different. Is it gonna be a flower? No, no it's not. No sir, it is in fact gonna be this pumpkin. This very special pumpkin will mark zero zero in our world. And now that we wasted most of our day, let's actually get some wood. In this series, we're gonna add items as we go. We are not starting from nothing, however. If you are familiar with my channel, you'll know that I make a lot of awesome data packs, and I have one based around elemental magic, time magic, and even spirit magic. Well, I took the time to combine all of them into one giant data pack, which if you check the description, you are able to download and import into your world. And if you really want the full whimsy experience, you can take the seed, which I'll also put in the description, and you can play along with me. But the rule is, if you build something in your world cooler than mine, then I'm going to come to your house and delete your world. Okay, this skeleton is defending his cave. No, I don't want to die so quickly. Thank God this isn't a hardcore series. Are those dolphins? I almost hit a dolphin. I feel like it's an unspoken rule in Minecraft that you do not kill the dolphins. Yeah, 100%. There, there's an unofficial Minecraft no-kill list. First coal of the world. This data pack was heavily inspired by the quest to get the Terra Blade in Terraria, where you start off with a bunch of basic items, and then eventually you combine those into more powerful items, and then eventually you cascade into god items, and... Oh, it was so fun the first time I did that in Terraria, and I really wanted to replicate the experience in Minecraft. I gotta say, the uh, the progression of Minecraft, you go from being able to kill a zombie to being able to kill a zombie a little bit quicker in the end game, and that's really it. But you are going to be a literal god by the end of your playthrough with this data pack. Okay, our first 1.18 cave. What are we gonna find down here? What's crazy is like basically all of this is still at surface level. I, I have not gone down at all somehow. Oh, finally, these are the caves that you wanna see in 1.18. My iron, come back! Not a bad first caving expedition. Got 39 pieces of iron, a ton of coal, got to explore a cool cave. But now I think it's time to take a little break from mining, smelt some ores, and suit up. Oh, we got three from that one. You, sir, just made me a very nice bed. Thank you very much, sheep. I deeply regret making a white bed. I don't really like white beds. I typically prefer red beds for the nostalgia. In fact, I wonder, can I dye this? Oh, you should be able to dye this. Hmm, data pack idea? Hmm? Hang on. I, I'm actually a little bit embarrassed about this one because I almost made an entire mini data pack to allow me to re-dye my bed, but I just realized... Oh, thank God I tested this. You can actually put dye in here and you can change the color of your bed. I didn't know that. Now, I wonder, can you do that when you already have a dyed bed? Like, if I wanted to make this orange, would I be able to do it? No, it's only the white bed. Huh. That's pretty interesting. And I totally forgot, but I, I've, had, I've had armor for a while, so I think it's time to suit up. Yeah, not bad. I already managed to get three copper blocks. Look at them just sitting there. So shiny. So new. Ah, youth is truly wasted on the young. Okay, despite living in a flower valley, there is like no wheat seeds around here, no grass to punch. So this is basically all I was able to find. And I got one piece of bone meal, so uh, that's not really going to cut it. No, oh, I need to eat. I don't have any more bone meal. I just got CO2. <laughs> the next day. Got a lot more seeds, got pumpkins planted, got a sugarcane situation going with an infinite water source closer by because that ocean is the only water for miles. And I also got some campfires because I want to start collecting honey so that I can make some candles. 
Oh, forget the candles for a sec. We got a nether portal. All right, Mojang, I expect good loot. Mojang? I'm not mad, just disappointed, but also hungry for some real loot. Woohoo! Which means back to the mines for me, where I'm going to gather some more resources because I want to build a base this episode. Okay, so I might have gotten a bit carried away. Just kidding. But I managed to get some diamond tools. That said, they still seem kind of slow. And the problem is, my enchantment table is still mooing. But that can be fixed. Ah, nothing like a healthy, grass-fed enchantment table. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, where's the exit? Oh, okay. I bit off a little bit more than I could chew there. Not too bad. We've got a lot of bones and a saddle. Oh, this is going to come in very handy for the data pack that we're playing with. Oh, and diamond horse armor. Very nice. And just near the same area, I managed to find a spider spawner that was already lit up by the lava. How nice is that? So nice, in fact, that I turned it into an XP farm. And got to level 30. Well, I'd say that we got a pretty good handle on those spiders, but literally everything else in this world is beating the crap out of me. Which means it's time for us to craft our very first data pack items. Here's how we craft our first item. We have two bone blocks and one stick, and then we get the warrior spirit staff. You right click, and it summons a phantom to come out and fight for you. And then here's how you craft our second item, the nightmare staff. When you right click with this item, it summons a nightmare steed which you can mount and of course ride around like any other horse, except this horse is really fast and it can jump pretty high. Now, the best part is when you dismount it and walk away, the horse dies and leaves behind no trace. All of a sudden, I think we're looking pretty menacing. I wouldn't mess with me. Would you mess with me? Of course not. So I released these items a couple months ago and it got picked up by a couple large YouTubers who made whole videos about these items. And one video in particular really stood out to me it was the one made by Ninjax. Now, right away, you see the similarities between our skins. And the second, I, I had never heard of Ninjax when I initially made my channel, but the second I made my channel, I started getting comments saying, oh, Whimsy, you're just pink Ninjax. Well, hmm, wouldn't you know, Mr. Ninjax himself is using my item. So I think, if anything, that makes Ninjax chocolate Whimsy. Hmm? If you can believe it, we have spent 30 days in this world already, and I've been pretty good about gathering resources and breeding animals, but I have not been so good about building. In fact, I don't even have a starter house. I've just been living out amongst the trees where I'm able to see the stars. It sounds romantic or whatever, but in reality, I'm, I'm cold, I'm covered in bugs, and we need to change that right now. So we're going to hop into a time lapse and build, I think, a cozy little starter cottage in this flower valley. So let's... Go. And with that, I'd say that we're done, at least with the outside. The outside's looking beautiful. We got a quaint little garden over here. The inside, on the other hand, leaves a lot to be desired. We have a, a cozy little fireplace, which is nice. I'm I'm no longer cold and covered in bugs. I was able to, to brush them off me and, and keep the elements outside. But, you know, even though we have a house, we're still effectively slumming it. We, uh, we don't even have storage in here yet. But over here, I'm going to have some double chests. We're going to put all of our crafting stuff over here. And then here we're going to have maybe all of our foodstuffs, maybe some, some crop storage as well. This is going to be our kitchen. Uh, maybe I'll put a sink there, a brewing station perhaps up there once we actually go to the nether. And then here we got our furnaces and a, a tight little staircase going up, but it works. We got some barrels for additional storage. And then here is going to be the site of my future bed, probably three wide so that it aligns with the window. And then over in this room, we have the perfect amount of space for a proper enchantment setup. And then over here, oh, I ended up missing a couple blocks. But this is going to be the site of maybe a future map of the valley. 
And over here, we have a beautiful window where we can see the sunrise and, oh, it's just so perfect. I love this view. I love being able to see those beautiful 1.18 peaks and I love how this build turned out. So as the sun rises, let's put on some shaders as I like to do with every build and take a beautiful panoramic shot around. Oh, watch out for the zombie. Hey, get off my crops. You're ruining my garden. Oh my God, he took my carrots. Stop, you madman. Oh, just wait, wait until the sun deals with you. No, stop it. This guy is out of control. What's wrong with you? Oh, well, I'm getting the last laugh. I have to say, the sunrise is a little bit spoiled. But still, nonetheless, let's just block that out and enjoy the ambience. Ambience? Ambience. Ambulance. That zombie's gonna need an ambulance. He's a magical blacksmith from lands unknown. He's your favorite data packet ice cream cone. You might ask yourself, who is he? It's whimsy!